Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you an awesome way to cut all those expense splitting headaches out of your group travels. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to track, split, and repay all those shared expenses fair and square. All right, what we're looking at here is the group level dashboard. This is your entire trip's spending hub, and it analyzes the trends across your whole trip, and how you're spending and who is spending. But for you to understand how this dashboard gets its visualizations, we need to go into the structure of the splitter. Here in the README tab, we see the structure of the splitter, that there are three input tabs that feed into the auto-generated dashboard. It begins with the settings tab, where you define your travelers, your spending categories, and your currencies. Then it moves into your expenses, where everyone in your group inputs their expenses. And then your settlements. This is where everyone starts tracking their resettled payments. It's also where you see your individualized ledger of your balances and debts. All three of these together feed into the dashboard that gives you a 30,000 foot view of your whole group's spending. So let's start here with the settings, then we'll move into expenses, settlements, and I'll explain the dashboard. Swinging over to the settings tab, this is where you name your participants or everyone in your travel group. Then you define your expense categories. This is for all of you to define depending on what you guys are up to. And then you select your home currency, that's the currency that your group is most familiar with, and your destination currency. You'll see that all world currencies are available, and when you change the currencies, it gives you today's exchange rate, along with a quick conversion table that's there for you to roughly un um, understand how much the different currencies are worth. So this is a convenience for you. You don't need to move to another app. After setting your settings, we move to the expenses. So with the expenses tab, you start off by sharing the whole sheet with everyone in your group so that everyone can input their expenses, giving them editor permissions. You define the category, you list the item. You can, if you want, link a receipt to a photo of a receipt. Importantly, you put the date of the transaction, the currency the transaction was in, the amount of the transaction in that currency, who it was paid by, and then you click the check boxes for each person that's splitting. Here we see that in the green auto-calculated columns, there is a conversion back to the home currency and then a split per person. I want to show you something about historical exchange rates and what makes this so powerful. Here we can see that we have a transaction in 3,000 soles. However, they're happening on different days. Even though they're both 3,000 and they're happening on different days, the US dollar conversion is different because the transaction date is actually drawing the historical exchange rate from Google Finance so that as currencies fluctuate, you are getting the most accurate calculation. So everyone in your group inputs their expenses from their phone or at the end of each night. And then we come to the settlement area. This is where we're all going to be settling up. Here on the left, this is where you input repayments or partial repayments. The date of the repayment, the payer or payee who's putting their money back, who they're giving their money to, the currency of that repayment, and the amount. Then there's always the auto-calculated um, conversion back to the home currency because that will be the base currency. Then we move over to the individual ledger. Here you can select the display currency that you'd like to see and then you can select who you are or who you'd like to see and you can see how much you owe. So let's pick Larry. Alright, in total Larry owes nothing because Larry lent out $140. Alright, let's see Linda. Oh. Linda owes in total $561, and she owes John, and then she owes Larry, but nobody owes her any money. As you input repayments here, these calculations will update. Along with the comments and the at mentions feature, you guys can use this area to kind of nudge and communicate with your friends to settle up unfinished debts. Then we move on to the dashboard. 
All right, the dashboard is where you're going to get a 30,000 foot view of your whole group spending. The dashboard is most useful to use during the trip. So you can see where your money is going. You can see who's paying a lot, maybe who's free riding. So you can, of course, toggle the display currency. You'll see the number of people in your group, the total spending per group, the spending divided by currency of transaction, the spending by day. It's actually very interesting to see what days are the most expensive. It tends to be that the first day is one of the most expensive days or the day that you guys do something really special. Then you have the top expenses by category. At first, of course, airfare and accommodation will be up there. But from analyzing this on our trip to Peru, I realized that we were spending way too much on food and not enough on taxis. And then we were walking everywhere, but not getting to see as much because we were spending so much time walking. So this spending my category can be really helpful. Over here, we have the latest transactions. We have the latest balances of who owes who what, and then the latest or most recent settlement actions or repayments. And this is for you to see what's going on most recently and where things are stacking up.